I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times newsroom. For the first time, a top Obama administration official apologized Tuesday for the botched launch of the Obamacare website, healthcare.gov. However, Marilyn Tavener insisted that the issues with the website were being resolved and that the overall program is working, though slower than had been hoped. Tavener is the head of the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. She said at a hearing of the House Ways and Means Committee that the vast majority of consumers should be able to use the site without issues by the end of November. Tavener's agency was blamed for the website woes, which added sparks to Republican efforts to sideline health care reforms. The Times reports that Republicans are broadening their focus from the technical glitches to spotlight issues that could prove more problematic to the administration going forward, as some Americans without employer-sponsored health plans face increased premiums or loss of coverage because their previous insurance plans fail to meet new standards under the Affordable Care Act. For more, visit LATimes.com and at LATimes on Twitter for the latest updates.